Hey there, how's it going? So I started my Vim journey about half a year ago and initially I was really worried that I'm like, I'm going to have a really tough time with this and I'm not going to be able to like memorize all the shortcuts because NeoVim has a bunch, right? And I've been on VS Code for like a decade now and it was just a bit scary. And my brain, I feel like is already like full with a bunch of different uh, shortcuts. So for example, for editing the videos, right? In DaVinci Resolve, I have my own like setup and my own different shortcuts. When I edit uh, pictures, images with Affinity Photo, again, same kind of deal. And I was like, I hope I'm not gonna have a tough time and, you know, even like switching from VS Code to all the different commands that Vim has. But let me tell you something. After you like mess around with this for about a month or so, you just start realizing like, wow, how intuitively uh, NeoVim was made. Uh, and basically what makes it so special is the motions. And if you don't know what motions are, it's, it's basically like doing combos in Street Fighter. So for example, like I have Hello World here, right? So the cool thing is that these motions, you can combine them, but it's kind of like English. So let's say I want to change like everything inside the quotation marks here. So I can do C for change, I for inside, and then I can do the quotes. And there we go. Look at that. And I'm in insert mode, so I can, I'm ready to go. Uh, but you might not want to go in insert mode, right? You might just want to delete the thing inside. So you can do D instead, right? For delete. So delete inside. So it's the same commands. You're just changing one word, right? Delete inside quotes. Boom, done, right? Uh, and it's so fantastic. What about like, let's say I want to get everything. I want to get the quotation marks included as well. Well, I can do delete around for A quotation marks. And this applies for like uh, copying as well. So you wouldn't want to go like here and then do V right for select and go all the way to the end here and then do yank for it y or you could do v and then maybe do ww right and it's a bit faster but what you can do is say yank inside the quotation marks and there we go i could have, have that copy so if i do pppp -p -p -p, then we say hello world and we don't pee our pants. Now this already gets you so far because you can apply it to everything out there, right? You can apply it to parentheses, you can apply it to brackets, you can apply it to words and sentences. So for example, if I go here, I can do change inside into parentheses, right? And here as well, right, I can change inside parentheses or delete inside parentheses. And if you have which key as well, it's pretty cool because then you can like discover new ones as well. So if I do change inside and look at that, it gives you a nice preview of everything that you can do. And you can apply this to words as well. So if I go here, like to change, let's say I want to change this, I can do change in a word like that, and then I'm ready to type. Also, another thing I love about NeoVim is how it encourages like good finger positioning. So I've been also like learning to type faster. If you want to give a like or subscribe, I'm going to do a stream as well because we're doing like monkey type challenges and I'm getting a new like key cron keyboard, which is going to be fun to test. But like normal like hand position you should have on the keyboard is ASDF on the left hand and then JKL and then the colon on the right hand, right? So that's a really natural uh, like hand position to type fast, but it's also really natural because your hands are on JKL uh, to kind of navigate around. But even like if you want to move up and down quickly, uh, just like if you think like English, right, you can do control D, which is like control down, and then you can like move much more and then control U for up and then you can go up quite easily. And this also like applies to tags. So if I go here, this is like really useful rather than come in here and like deleting everything line by line. You can do like change inside tag as well. That works, uh, which is like a really handy little shortcut. Now, everything I showed you so far is like native functionality inside NeoVim. But if you use something like Kickstart, you're probably going to see that it comes with something like mini surround. And that just kind of extends some of the functionality. For example, like we have dark here, right? And let's say maybe I want single quotes on this, not double quotes. So you can do like SRs for like surround and replace. And if I do double quotes and then single quotes, as you can see, that replaces the thing around it. So this is again, like something that's really useful. Uh, you might have a situation where you might, this is a silly example here, but let's say I want that not to be a parenthesis. Instead, I want it to be, you know, square brackets or whatever. Uh, so you can do SR for replace around and replace. And then I can do parentheses to select it. And then I can do whatever I want. So I can do 
square brackets like that. And there we go. So yeah, I just wanted to share this a little bit uh, because it just becomes more and more intuitive the more you use it and you then realize like, oh my God, all the other editors are just feel so slow uh, after you like start getting into NeoVim. Now I know these were all like quite simple examples, but again, like what I'm trying to show you is that the power comes like once you learn these simple things, you can combine them to create something powerful. So like you have WW for word, right? But I can do three W to push me three words ahead. Something like even cooler is let's say I go here to line seven. You can set a marker. So M, right, for marker. I usually like to do like one, two, three, four, five. So I do one here. And then let's say I go down, right? Go down, down, down. If I do quotation marks and one, I get to that, that marker, right? That I just placed. But I can also copy everything, for example, from line 86 all the way up to my marker. So I can do something like yank, right? That's the command. And then all the way up to one. And there we go. Look, I copied everything there. So I can paste it here. That's the same uh, sentence. So it's going to look the same, but <laughs> it works, right? So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. If you are interested in the oven, don't be scared. I promise you it's going to be a fantastic experience. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, our baby is like three weeks old, which is crazy. I feel like ever since he became a dad, time flies by so, so bloody quick. I can't wait for him to be at least three months old so we can get him on here and start teaching him C. Uh, we're going to live stream that. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm not joking, by the way. Um, also, just a quick update on my back. Uh, my chronic back pain has been quite back, bad, but uh, I got some like good anti-inflammatory uh pills right now that seem to be doing the job uh, so I can sit on the chair for longer which is fantastic uh, so I can make more uh, little tutorials like this for you so thank you so much again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one